Hi, welcome to the Property Review Show. Jason Keeler here. Good to have you back. We're in London, UK, in the prestigious, prestigious part of town. We're in Chelsea. And Chelsea is the home of posh. And certainly is probably posh spice as well. SW3 is the postcode. And let's take a look at this amazing home. It is 24.7 million US dollars or around 17.5 million British pounds. And let's take a look at this regal home in a very, very central location. Let's take a look. Look at the uh, first photo. Just incredible. What have we got on the right? Staircase with uh, this amazing uh, terrace house. It looks like a terrace or semi. Let's take a closer look. But on the right-hand side, we have these amazing uh, stairs with lights all the way under. And that is just classy. I'm telling you, man, that is a nice house. And look at the stair rail there, too, and the a tree on the right with its uh, framework there to hold it up and make it grow right. Uh, just amazing. The timber fence, too, as well. If that's timber, it looks like it is. and Or could be a high-quality material there. Into at the left of the screen, and we've got a uh, outdoor fireplace to keep you warm in the winters, and this dining area with that panelled wall again on the left. So just uh, just a beautiful home, and then all that classic brick of England. So much of it, but in this house, incredibly, incredibly classy. What else can we tell you about it? It's uh, five thousand one hundred square feet. It is a beauty. Let's take a closer look. Let's jump on in here and see what we can see. Let's go. We're outside and let's keep going. So looking at the front from the street here, we have a traditional semi-detached home. Not a terrace because we've got this uh, house here breaking it, this doorway, and we're at number 34, it looks like. My eyesight is deceiving me. Is it 24, 25? I think so. And uh, look at this. Look at the old-fashioned chimney up top here. Let's zoom out a little bit for you. The classic English chimney and double barreled at the top there and all the way along. So servicing a whole lot of fireplaces. And then the brick is a beautiful color with all this masonry looking so astute. And the yesteryear of England coming into play. Just beautiful indeed. A lovely, lovely character home. We're into an ensuite here, rather tight one. Or it could just be, uh, actually, it could just be a toilet room here. I'm looking at the dimensions of this. Yes, it could just be a staircase uh, WC, which is a water closet for those who didn't know, but a toilet, in other words, and uh, or the John, as Americans say. We've got a cistern on the left here, and we've got these amazing vases here, and wallpaper. Of course, wallpaper is class these days. Uh, some people think it's old hat, but actually it is. it is, really is class. Now, looking at the basin here, you've all been looking at it. Look at that. I mean, what island is that from? That must be from some amazing place, some amazing stone. But uh, let's go into the backyard. What do you think of this? This is rather beautiful. A landing here with a, a, a immaculate furniture. Just incredible. Look at the mature trees here. These trees will go way, way back into the British Empire. And uh, the rail here is awesome. Down the stairs, the pavers are just exquisitely perfect. And this home is just absolutely delicious central london chelsea uh, you've done yourself proud here this is an amazing home amazing home indeed i am in awe of this look at this garden beautifully landscaped probably had an incredible professional in here and down the stairs we go into the paved area outdoor dining and then the grassed area for the kids and the sort of love seat here around this amazing old tree which is just impressive the garden will look even greater when these grow a bit more and then there's a special uh, walkway here inside the house, sort of like a gangway in there. So just stunning. Let's keep going. Let's hope it gets even better, and I'm sure it will. Into that private garden there with the sort of love chair there, and uh, you can etch your name into the tree. There probably is a name in there. Who knows? And uh, this home has probably been refined over the years. Who used to own it? Who knows? But we might get some clues on who owns it these days. And uh, just beautiful landscaping. Absolute perfection for us. And this must be nearby. Uh, the shared garden nearby, I would imagine. These come up in England a lot. You would have seen one of these on Notting Hill, the movie, where uh, Julia Roberts and, and Hugh Grant go into a uh, private uh, garden that's shared with the neighborhood. You have keys to it and uh, wrought iron fences, etc. And uh, that's an example of one of those. Movie theater, look at this. 
Look at the movie theater. Look at the plushness of this. Look at the carpet. That is nice. That is really nice. Drinks at the back, fridge at the back, big screen, nice recess ceiling, ducted, uh, sorry, ducted heating in the back here and down lights with these amazing, amazing side lights here just to make that theater feel there. So just amazing. Some cupboards as well for storage of movies and so forth. Just impressive. Uh, into your own gym and winter in London, just trying to relax, enjoying your busy, stressful day in the high end of town. And you've got your bike there, you've got your couch to relax, play some games, and you've got uh, mirrors in the back and lots of artwork. A skylight just above here. Look at the skylight. That's a nice too. Very nice. And the black is a lovely finish. Uh, very nice indeed. So moving on into the ensuite. And we've only got one sink in here, which is scaring me, because on mansions you need double sinks. We'll see if there's another one. And this shower is unbelievable. Look at it. And this artwork on the right. Love that. Love this uh, tree here. And into the bathroom. Look at the tiling. Look at the shape here. We've got a sound system in the ceiling. We've got uh, some sort of heating system. And we've got uh, an amazing shower room in there with tiles. Just incredible. Just beautiful. It is immaculate. This is a, an incredible example of a stately home. Loving the horse in the back. That shows they probably into, into racehorses or something. Someone who lives there possibly on the left here in the photo. And, uh, of course, a beautiful room. Just a lovely spare room there. Very nice indeed. Nice, nice cabinetry. Good, uh, good well-spaced room. And into the bathroom. Tiles to the ceiling. And the light hidden up in the ceiling there with the slight recess. And, of course, the heated towel rail. An absolute essential in London. You must have heated towel rails. Even in budget homes, they have those. And uh, the boxed-in bath. Not a lot of space to work with here. Never is. And they've done it well with uh, the stone bench top there on the right too so very good into another bedroom uh, surround sound or, or sound into the ceiling there and these double doors out to a courtyard beautifully done with a lovely rug and chairs just uh, just lovely beautiful furniture uh, and a lovely home indeed very nice this is a really lovely example another bedroom there beautifully done cabinetry uh, everything's there a good example if you've been to london you'll know that central london homes to get this state this level is quite difficult. You'll even pay a lot in an old hotel. So uh, that gives you an example of what it's like. It's just a different world on real estate prices. Their property prices are rather different. So into this uh, looks like a could be a master bedroom, yes. Uh, lots of cabinetry and uh, these double doors, sliding doors here, well spaced because they're, they're sort of like pocket doors, tucked away, cavity doors, and a timber is rather divine. The uh, headboard on the bed going all the way almost to the ceiling uh, really nicely done with these uh, these down lights to feature that headboard. As you come in, you're impressed by the feel of it. And then, of course, the big sash windows out onto the street in the background. Into the ensuite and mirrored, very high mirrors there. And love the framing of that with that marble-type finish, eggshell bath, and plain, of course, simple white tiles as they continue on into the shower room. And look how open this is with the lighting used on the left. The uh, tile, uh, pave, tile marble style on the left, and then uh, the old-fashioned uh, style uh, handles for the uh, shower, giving it a bit of class there as well. So just, just a very different. The inset, uh, inset uh, drain here at the bottom, lovely and flush for the home. Now we're going into uh, the master bedroom. We're looking into the master bedroom from the ensuite, and this is good. We've got two sinks. We've got to have two sinks in a bathroom, and this is an example of that. In this level of home, you have to have eggshell bath, and there we see the mirror again, and that view right through into the bedroom and out onto that lovely old tree, uh, which is rather beautiful. Looking again at the bedroom, lovely shot. Mirrors used a lot here, and that's very important in London because a lot of overcast weather need to brighten up and give more space to a home. Very important indeed. Into the sitting room. And this is lovely. And look at this uh, look at this picture at the back here. This uh, piece of artwork here. Just amazing. On the wall there. Up there. And uh, almost looks like a nun. But not sure. Maybe. So uh, very nice. And uh, lovely sofa. The carpet's beautiful. And it's all just lo lovely skirting boards. See how high the skirting boards are there? Very high indeed. And uh, we've got speakers in the ceilings again. And uh, beautiful bay windows with uh, sash drapes, curtains there. 
and uh, just everything beautifully done even the mirrors here in the back in this bar looking so good the cabinets and fireplace just perfectly done nothing much to complain about in any respect there's our there's what i thought was a nun i'm not sure it is no i don't think it is but it is an amazing looking uh, someone watching probably will know then we've got a couple of looks like jaguars here or leopards uh i think and then that fireplace looking rather good too and the flowers and the vases and then around the fireplace you've got this type shining type uh, frame here so it looks very nice indeed moving on and staircase with the traditional english carpet uh, pinned back there with the bar across each step and just class absolute class this uh, light lamp here with this uh, silver uh, timber uh, here looks like driftwood timber or broken off bark uh, just beautiful and the floors here different a light color on the wood flooring and wide then we've got that shot into that uh, picture of the unknown woman and uh, just a beautiful use of double doors and then down the hallway just warm as you come on in a cold winter's day and you're warming yourself as you come into the house and you warm yourself even more when you when you get to the bar and have a drink here champagne's out the whiskey's out everything's ready to go we've got some gin and tonic here we've got a mixer shaken not stirred over here and uh, we've got these amazing uh, drapes as well so very nice indeed and uh, into another bedroom with the sound system coming from the ceiling nice cabinetry a lovely headboard again they seem to like their really high quality headboards and into the first floor with uh, that carpet again pinned back a beautiful staircase with the lacquered arm rail handrail and uh, the chandelier they're looking so good so simple and so beautiful and the timber floors there as well up into an outdoor courtyard with those double doors off two bedrooms and we've got this quite incredible and exquisite glass floor here. Look at this. Let's take a closer look at that floor there. So you've walked out of your double doors and you're onto the glass floor, which we can see some artwork below. Look at that. And then some artwork in the back here on the wall. The stonework here and the chair with the trees either side. And then this lovely paneling in the ceiling with lights. The lights at night dropping onto this artwork and lighting up these stone features that look like they're Greek or something like that. So just incredible as we look through the home. And uh, here we are in uh, the kitchen and a beautiful breakfast bar and amazing cabinetry to the left. Look at the chandeliers right through here. Stunning. And then so lots of ovens. Looks like there's an ice maker here or water dispenser. Then on the right, dishwasher, cabinetry. Uh, just immaculate. The floor tiles are looking good as well with that more neutral style into a dining room on another level and uh, just looking so good with the pinned black chairs and the uh, tall back chair in the back there just to give it a bit more character and then we've got the uh, light feature and the tile floors again looking great this is a beautiful home lovely door to the right and into another lounge with the concord sitting on the table there the coffee table got the replica of the concord there in almost like a steel uh, trench art, but uh, much better than trench art, as trench art is fantastic, by the way. But this is from World War One or Two. But this is an amazing piece of art here. Just, uh, just amazing how slick and clean that is. That is a beautiful piece of art on that on that coffee table. The coffee table, beautiful too. Then we're walking out past the cabinetry and the TV out to the outdoor living through the double doors, uh, out to that amazing outdoor area that we boasted about earlier on so just beautiful there it is in the twilight shot and i mean what is not to like what is not to like they're just absolutely exceptional so there it is it is in uh of course an amazing suburb of chelsea carlisle square just stunning with community garden around the corner and we're looking at uh 24.755 us dollars so 24 million 24 and a half million or 17.5 million pounds so right up the top there in the way of real estate but a stunning striking property in chelsea i'm jason keeler thanks for watching catch you on the next show if you've got any suggestions or comments you'd like to subscribe like or share this video please do so as we build this channel as we travel around the world examining amazing properties thanks for watching catch you next time